what's up, OG? Where you from? I come nowhere from around here just like you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are you in my hood, man? Your hood? Yeah, it's my oh, hood. You own things around here. Yeah, it's my hood. Street. You own the wall. It's all mine right bridge. here. It's all yeah. mine right here. Yeah. Get up. Come here. Come here. What's wrong with you? Pull up your pants. Get your ass in the gym. Damn youngsters. You know, chop them down, get them on the ground, stomp them out like the cockroach they are, kick them, whatever. Oh, check out the shirt, man. Yeah, you like the shirt? Yeah. One of our 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 patrons, uh, he stays in Arizona now. He made these shirts for us and everything. So if you want to get a shirt, just let me know. Give me a holler. If you don't, I'm gonna come and whoop your ass for not hollering at me. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. But anyway. Yeah, the rope technique is a very important technique. You must always be able to be flexible. You need agility. You need to be evasive when you fight. A lot of people don't want to be evasive when they fight. They want to come straight in. That's why they're ugly. See me? I'm pretty. See Kesa? He's pretty. Because we know how to get out the way. The rope helps. And as Kesa works the ropes, goes up under the ropes, kicks up under the ropes, See how he ducks, so he's a duck punches, duck kicks, and you know, move around with the elbow. No matter how low he go, he can always strike. He can even go backwards, duck it, strike it, kick it, elbow, knee. Very necessary training in order to get low, chop the tree down, kick the kneecaps from up under him, and then once they on the ground, stomp them like the cockroach that. <laughs> Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, you're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. 